Hey everyone, so today we're talking about all things bass. What kind of VST we're using, programming, um, how we're writing the bass, uh, velocities, humanization, and all of these things. So uh, today for our bass sound, we'll be using a program bass, and for that we'll use a contact player. You can find it for free, um, if you just Google contact player. Um, and within contact, we'll be using Eurobase uh, by Submission Audio. Uh, it's one of the best bass plugins, I would say, out there on the market. It goes down to double drop E, which is pretty low. Um, so all of your metal needs can be covered in this. So let's talk about this plugin a little bit. Um, you have different controls over here, as you see. Um, volume control, how wide you want your bass to sound like, how much string noise you want, and muting noise. I oh, That's the default settings, and I usually just keep it at that. Um, then we have an amplifier option. So you can have either clean bass, just a DI, or amplified one. With an amplified option, you have also clean or distorted bass. So it can be clean amped bass or distorted amp bass. I really like the graphics in this plugin as well, that once you switch it off, it's nice and calm. You whack the amplifier on, bam, you've got the green eyes and everything going nuts here. Just lighting up here. <laughs> and then, once we go into distortion, we go into red mode. That string noise is super realistic. <laughs> I used this bass on quite a few records before and it's, it's always so easy to mix it in because it's just perfectly recorded. Also, another th few things, uh, we've got tone option. So basically it makes it slightly brighter, slightly darker. I usually just leave it in the middle. And then one of my favorite things about this is alternate picking option here. So you can select, uh, I usually select 16th notes because I know that there's gonna be a lot of fast riffs um, that I want bass to follow and that way It'll just humanize it automatically. Cool. One of the most important features of this plugin, um, if you go into key switch info over here, you can see articulation options here. So by default it's on C2, which is just picking bass. So like every note is picked. Then you've got hammer-ons, pull-offs, slides, mute dead mutes and harmonic mutes which is really cool i think because if you want to go that extra mile and make it sound as realistic as possible that's where you go um i'll show you how i do that and you can follow me or not up to you but i think it's it's a really cool plugin and you'll hear it in a moment what it sounds like they were like bass sitting in the song especially in the metal song, um, is pretty much following guitars, following drums, the rhythmic pattern of it, and just supporting it as, as a low end. But obviously, if you're, real, if you're a bass player and you have real bass, you probably will go a little bit more interesting way. I don't know, depends on your skill and everything, but I'm not a professional bass player. I just want that really good, consistent low end to support my rhythm guitars. So that's what we're going to do. Where I like to start is take drum MIDI, copy it down there, and then get rid of all of the cymbal hits. Um, we can get rid of tom hits as well. Just leave kick and snare, then select all the snares, move them to the same level as the kicks, and then move this to our root note, which is C. So octave up. And if you have a listen now, it'll be following basically our drums and guitars. Cool. 
All right. Um, I honestly don't remember what I played when I was writing this. So there are two options, either grabbing your guitar and listening to the riff, recreating it, and then programming bass by looking at your fretboard, or I do a slightly, slightly different way. Um, listen to the riff, listen to the bass, and see where it goes. Quite a useful thing to do, I find, is to loop a one note cycle and just listen to bass and guitar and adjust the pitch. What I usually do is I move um, notes octave higher first to make sure it's the correct pitch and then move it octave down so it's in the bass register. So let's say we've got our first two bars here. Um, obviously, that sounds absolutely crap. So, one useful function um, to extend the end of the note until the beginning of the next note is shift backwards slash, and that extends every single note until the start. Because it's all on time and quantized, um, it's really easy to do it. Cool. Then we've got our second bit. So first bar is same kind of rhythm, just slightly different notes in between. So I'm gonna copy that and then just adjust the high notes over there. All right, so our third cycle is quite similar to the first one. Again, just a few different notes. So the only difference is this little run here. And the fourth cycle is similar to the second one. Again, just going to be a few different notes in that. Cool, so we've got our first section done. Um, so next thing I want to do is these long ring out notes over here I want them to overlap slightly because they do on guitar so we'll do the same on bass Cool, then um, Let's work on velocities of our bass. Um, so all of the high notes at the moment, they're pretty loud. And usually when you're playing bass, you don't pick that hard, especially on the fast runs like here. Right now it just sounds like a little bit robotic. So what I do is I select most of my high notes, especially except the accent ones. So for example, here where it starts the phrase. So all of, all of my runs. Maybe I'll leave the ring out notes fairly loud. Cool. Then we go into functions, MIDI transform and random velocity. So over here it lets you select where do you want your velocities to be of the selected notes. So let's say I want it to be between 70 and 
90. Because they all soft hit. So I don't want to go too high with it. Um, then you press operate. And all of your nodes are between 70 and 90 now. Kind of randomized. Cool. Next thing I want to adjust is these 16th notes where it goes ta 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 syncopated kind of riffs. Um, so all of these I want to be on the softer side as well. So basically like the kind of palm mute on guitar, on bass. You could do palm mute but it doesn't sound the same and you kind of don't want your bass palm muted anyway so we'll just drop the velocity a bit quite low. And then note afterwards, I want it slightly louder. There we go. Cool. So it sounds pretty good already. Um, but let's take it to another level and go into key switch info and humanize it slightly. So basically in this scenario what you what what I usually do just think how you would actually play it let's say on bass guitar on regular guitar and adjust articulation to that. Let's start with little runs over here. So ta 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 ta. So I imagine this note. So this one is pick. This one is hammer on. So let's do that. Picked hammer on the C sharp. Then it's picked again. Picked again. Ta -da. Maybe a pull off here. and then hammer on again, and then we pick in again. Always don't forget to add the pick again, otherwise the rest of your notes will be like hammer-ons or pull-offs, which will sound funny. Um, let's have a listen to this little run. Let's have a listen without articulation. And then humanized. Sounds way smoother and way more realistic. So for that kind of runs, it's really cool to do something like that. So I'm just gonna copy that for this. So you can think you can go through the whole riff, think how is it actually played, where is there any hammer-ons, hammer-offs, little slides, etc. and adjust that. Also another cool function is, it says over here, string noise, F4 to C6. So, if you want to add some of those noises in there, to make it even more realistic, you're more than welcome to do that. Also, Submission Audio has quite a few different bass instruments. So they've got punk bass as well, which is cool for like, literally what it says, for more punk, for like rock sound, I would say, where Euro bass is more to focused towards metal. Then they also have gin bass, um, which is for gent. It, I think it goes even lower than Euro bass. Um, I haven't tried it yet, but I've heard some good stuff from it. So yeah, see what you like. Um, I'll drop a link of their website in the description if you want to check their products out and pick one of them up. And I will speak to you soon again.